Hey, Sophie, I just let in some members of the Believer staff, but um, not any like public people. Looking okay. great with that fish mask. Mm -hmm. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hi, everybody. Can you hear me? Like, not very well, but we're going to start in a few minutes. I'm not going to be a fish the whole time. Just, just, just for the beginning. To hook you. That was a pun I didn't even know I was going to make. Hi everyone, welcome. trying to like swim. I, yeah, doing some fun swimming. I wonder what kind of fish this is. Does anyone know fish? It's Halloween tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna take this off. Okay. I thought that that was gonna be easier to wear than it was. It was unpleasant to have it on, but I hope that the effect was there. I'm, af um, I'm not afraid of fish, but I'm afraid of touching them. I'm like have this irrational fear that like the oils in my hands will kill the fish. Anyway, I'm supposed to start by Thanking you for being here, which I genuinely do. Thank you so much for being here. And um, thanks to the believer for making uh, making the time for this. I live right by a loud train, so my apologies for the for that. It was very romantic when I bought the house, and now now it's a loud train. Um, my name is Sophie Lucido Johnson, and you are in an hour long workshop called Draw What Scares You. And I'm really excited to spend Halloween Eve with you. It's sort of like a, a different kind of a Halloween. So it's gonna be fun to um, do something a little celebratory, I think. I think that this will be a nice way to celebrate. Um, I'm gonna share my screen with you. And if you could uh, give me a thumbs up if you can see it. Oh. It says I can't. Oh, now I can. Okay. <sighs> can you see my giant desktop there? Thank you. Okay. Well, that's not the beginning of it. We are getting all of that. Okay. Draw what scares you. I picked orange. It's very uh, seasonal. So just uh, meeting each other really quick. There's a lot of us. So if you could just type into the chat your name and where you are right now and maybe a favorite Halloween costume from a Halloween past. And if you don't already have um, a paper, pencil, or pen or some colors, you might want to grab those things right now. And see that I have uh, Jose, and Jose has helped me to remember to tell you guys that I do use she, her pronouns. Thank you for reminding me. Um, Luke dressed as a cloud one time. We have someone from Australia. Oh my goodness. Someone went as a jar of Nutella. Ooh, that's cool. A shark. As a kid, we had a hand-me-down costume that was a giant stuffed pumpkin, but the head was all wonky. That's a story we all know. Wow, well, there's a lot of wonderful people here. Um, keep keep the, the greetings coming. It's wonderful to see where we are all coming here from and 
feel really happy to know you guys are here. Okay. I guess I can probably click. Oh, huh. okay. Um, hi, I'm Sophie. This is a costume that I had once where I dressed as a shotgun house when I lived in New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, okay, I guess I gotta click. So I'm gonna brag about myself for just a quick minute because, uh, because I, I get to. I live in Chicago. I have two cats and five chickens and my house is bright yellow. It's as yellow as that costume would suggest it is. It's insane. Um, I am a gag cartoonist for the New Yorker. Um, do those cartoons that you have in your magazine that piles up in your house. Um, my cartooning bucket list is pretty much complete, which I feel very excited about just happened this year. This is a list of places where I have made cartoons. I teach at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago and the Chicago High School for the Arts. My first book was called Many Love. Um, and I think that we, oh yeah, look, they put it in the chat. If you want to buy a copy of it, you can at, their, at this friendly bookstore that supports independent books, which is great. Thanks, Jose, that feels really nice to hear. Um, then my second book was an audio book and it just came out and it's called Love Without Sex. And my third book is coming out in 2022 and it is called Dear Sophie Loves Sophie and it's a full um, graphic novel. Also, I forced my husband to come to this and earlier today when he said he wasn't coming, I like sobbed, I like sobbed. I don't know why I had such a reaction. So he's here and thanks, that, thanks Luke. I, I'm bragging that I have someone who I can coerce into doing things with me. Okay. So I'm not quite done talking about myself <laughs> because it is possible that you find drawing a little scary. Maybe you don't, but I know that I used to find it a little scary. So I have a quick little parable for you. Tara Brock, um, who is like a Western meditation teacher, likes to tell this story of a man who teaches um, art at a college and his daughter says, well, what, what is it that you teach again? He says, well, I teach, you know, college students how to, to draw and to paint. And, um, and the daughter says, what, you mean they forgot? And so I like this story. I tell it a lot to my students. Um, everybody can draw, but I didn't always know that. I used to date an artist. We fell in love because I wrote him a fan letter, which is really cool. I agree. Um, this is a drawing he did of me. I decorated my whole house with artwork he made and I bought him art supplies and this deal was gonna work out forever. Um, but then he broke up with me and then I had no more art. And during this time I had, didn't draw, I was terrified of drawing, I quote unquote couldn't draw. And um, I so I took care of his, his art career and then he left and then I had to take down all his artwork because uh, he broke my heart. So I decided that I would learn how to draw and everything I drew felt like it was not good enough, but also it was fun to draw it. It was fun to put up my own pictures on my wall and nobody cared if my drawings were quote unquote good or bad. It's a drawing I did of myself um, later oh, on the wrong way. So this is a fact. It's been proven by science and by wizards. You can't be bad at drawing. It is impossible. Oops, I gotta go back one. Well, the, that one that we missed said that elephants are good at drawing, and that's a fact. Over time, my drawing changed. The pictures started to look more like I wanted them to look. And this is just a like quick example of that. Um, so on the left is a picture that I drew, um, like, I don't know, 2014. And on the right is a picture I drew in uh, 2020 with the same supplies of my sister, who is the best person alive. And um, there are differences in those two drawings, um, but they were both equally fun to make. And it's just interesting to see how your drawing changes as you, if you do it every day. Okay. Um, make drawing be not scary. And so I have some uh, ideas as to how you can do that. You can break all of these rules and these are fun ones to break. Draw with a pen, not a pencil, just go for it. Do pen drawings. 
put words in your drawings. Why not? Drawings love words. They're basically, words are just drawings that are made of letters. Use crayons. I'm a big fan. I have boxes and boxes. Uh, and go ahead and use crummy computer paper. Who cares? And trace. Why not? People are always saying you can't trace. Why not? Go ahead and trace. It's fun. Use tracing paper even. We used to have that when we were like little and then apparently it is not real art to trace. It is. You still have your, your um, drawing voice when you're tracing. Go ahead. Why not? Decide to spend a whole week on one drawing and erase like crazy and never give up on it. That's sort of the opposite of tracing where you just sit and you decide you're gonna keep drawing till you get it right and you erase until the paper has holes in it. And that's really fun too. Shade everything in. Uh, color stuff, all the wrong colors. You can do that with a coloring book. Draw really, really tiny or draw huge, draw on a wall. But if your mom or your landlord owns the house, ask your mom or your landlord first or you can put paper, paper on the wall directly copy someone else take a picture someone else drew and try to do exactly the same drawing play the add a line game with a friend if you're not familiar with this game it's how i pass all my time um, when i'm waiting for things to happen you draw one line you pass your notebook over to your friend they draw another line pass it back uh, and you collaborate to make a picture or read a how to draw a book and purposefully do the opposite of what they tell you to do if drawing isn't fun for you and you think you're not good at drawing, the only thing you're doing wrong is not having fun. So figure out how to have fun. It's really the first rule of art. Someone's, someone's gonna disagree with me. Someone at the college I work will disagree with me, but I'm right. See, all of these things glow, so I must be. Okay, so I'm gonna try to have us do a quick um, poll here. Where is it? I'm going to drop this uh, link in the chat. I think I can. I think I can. If you could, from your computer, go on over and uh, type in some things that scare you. I think it would be great. Is this working? Is this like work? Sophie, can you put the, ch the link in the chat again? Yes. Oh, because I did it privately just to you. <laughs> so sorry. It's okay. Okay, there we go. That should work. Does it work? Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> um, if you can click over there uh, and add some things that scare you. I've added clusters and the election. <laughs> Those are the two things that are on my mind right now. Oh, belly buttons. It's very interesting. Now we have tornadoes, the future, moths, caves, failure. Yes, for real. We have tornadoes and Trump is very big. <laughs> Fascism, everything. Wow, this, this is a big one. Spiders is bigger than Trump. That's a sentence I wanna like go down in history. Spiders is bigger than Trump. Zealots and cockroaches, conversations, same. Elevators, stalking, 2024, interesting. Naked, naked. And then something that got like oh, maximum responses. Great, we got maximum responses. Uh, go ahead and type extra things into the chat if you didn't get a chance to put your thing. And we will keep that brainstorm alive in the world of the chat. Um, I wanted us to do that because I thought it would be great to have a and a group of things that we could uh, all look to if we are feeling like we don't know what scares us. But it seems like there's a lot of things that scare all of us, which is great because we're going to draw now. So <laughs> gather your supplies. Um, and I would love it if we could switch to my uh, like phone camera. Is that possible, believer people? Other camera. Hard to know. Okay, great. I think I've switched because I see on my computer that I have. Great. Wow, ghosts. 
those weird feelings that are related to things that happened in the past that you have purposefully forgotten. Wow. Someone is a wonderful poet and writer in here. So our, our fears range from silly to serious and serious to silly and everything in between, which is great. Um, today, if you are a person who is afraid of drawing, um, we are going to draw this, we're going to draw ourselves and we're going to do it three times. The reason why we're doing it three times is so that you can go ahead and mess up the first two times. So um, this is how I like to draw myself. I'm going to use this, uh, this micron pigma with the O4 tip, but I'll change supplies. I have a lot. Look, I got orange paint on my hands because I was drawing ghost chickens earlier. Okay, so when I draw myself, let me see if I can um, get it to focus better. Okay, I do a circle for the head and maybe that's fine that easy. The thing that I would like you to make sure that you do is give your body a lot of space. Um, I'm gonna make my body kind of like this uh your arms can be noodles if you want or they can have joints it doesn't matter i like noodle arms myself i feel like it gives them more freedom and flexibility yeah four fingers oh well it's good enough for today and we can give ourselves legs okay and then I always give myself um, glasses because I wear glasses. I give myself eyes first, two eyes and glasses. And whatever you, whatever uh, you have going on on your face, a mustache or freckles or a really interesting smile, um, go ahead and add that. Maybe you're a hair person. I have bangs. I haven't always had bangs, but now that I have them, I'm never going back. They hide a lot of my secrets and that's important to me. Okay, and give myself some hair. I don't, hair, let's give me a neck, easy. Well, you shape there, I'm empty. Now I'm gonna do the same thing again. And I'm gonna do it a little bit different. This time I'm gonna do her, uh, myself in just with just one fluid line, just a shape. I'm just going to give myself a shape and you can do this however you want as long as your body self has a lot of space in the body region. So well, this person doesn't even have hands. This is sort of like a gingerbread <laughs> style of human. There we go. My heel is big in this world, which it, my heel feels big right now because it, it hurts. Wow, I got a lot thinner from frame one to frame two. Best diet plan is just draw. <laughs> um, or just love your body exactly as it is because it's perfect no matter what it is. It's another option. Okay, this girl gets glasses too. And she gets a nose that's a triangle and she gets lips like that and bangs. Oh, this one needs ears. And there we go. Okay. Um, there we go. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on in the chat, but this is, if you are a child, you should be able to also draw your body. We don't have clothes yet, but that's okay. Okay. Now we are going to choose which of these shapes was most fun to draw. And for our third shape, I'm gonna give myself a new piece of paper. Pick one of those or make it as big as you want, oh, but leave a little bit of space over to the right side. Leave a little bit of space over there. 
Okay, so we get time number three. Sometimes it's helpful to just draw the same thing over and over again and see what you notice about how your drawings change. Okay, about our head. Got our bodies. I personally like the um, multiple shapes <laughs> method. Okay, Sophie with her little eyes and her cute, oh my goodness, your glasses are adorable, cartoon Sophie. Her nose and her eyebrows and her bangs. Her hair and legs. Okay. Uh, I'm not a huge neck person, if that's not clear, but um, you might be, you might have chosen to go with neck. All right, so we have our, our body. So fear exists in your body. That's where it lives. Uh, your brain sends signals into your body and it makes your body have a reaction. So think about the thing that you're afraid of. Don't get too scared, but think about it. And picture where you feel that feeling in your body when you are feeling scared, when you're afraid of that thing, whatever it is. Where do you picture it in your body? And then I'm going to use a color here. You, well, I'm going to use orange. You know why? <clears throat> because I know someone with orange hair who scares me a lot. Maybe you know him too. And um, I feel my fear up here, like in my neck and upper chest, like going into the back of my throat. So now I'm gonna picture my, this fear as a shape. It's kind of nice to be able to uh, visualize your fear, even if this isn't a highly scientific shape. And I'm gonna color it all the way in. Okay, he does so, right now this shape sort of does look like a goldfish cracker, which isn't that scary to me, but is a little bit, because sometimes you can't stop eating a goldfish cracker. For me, this shape is going to also kind of go up. He has like arms that are gripping me, and it's going to kind of like go up around my head, and that's my shape. It would be... The candy, am I afraid of nerds the candy? Uh, nope, I like them. So when you're making your shape, try to make a shape that uh, is cohesive, is like one blob. Because the next step is we're gonna pull the shape out and move it over next to us. We're gonna pull it out of our body, which is, wow, what a great liberating. And he can get a lot bigger once he's out of it because you know that fear gets all smushed up and little even and it because it's, it's huge and it's filling up your tiny little body space. Fear is really big and so powerful. So we're just gonna kind of take some of its power away by taking it out of our bodies. And I'm just gonna try to draw pretty much the same general shape next to me and give him some hands because my fear definitely has some gripping qualities and then color him all the way in. Coloring all the way in uh, is to me one of the most uh, pleasurable and relaxing activities. And I know that coloring in books exist for that reason but I like to just uh, just make your own shape <laughs> and color color them. Okay, so I'm filling my shape. There's my fear, and now I get to give him a face. Mine is a boy. Yours might be gender free, or a girl, or a gender, or some other gender that doesn't. I had to have it named. 
This time I'm going to use the um, <clears throat> this kind of pen. This is called a gel, uh, an Energel Klina, and this is my favorite pen. You can buy them on jet pens and uh, I have a hundred because they, it, it's very satisfying to write with them. This is just a like ballpoint pen. Okay, so my particular fear as it lives in my body is got his eyes are pretty little compared to his body and I'm gonna like give him these afraid eyebrows. Your fear might be angry or have a, or or neutral. You know, whatever it is that grips at you, sometimes it seems to possess <laughs> a different type of emotion. This is mine. He's like helpless and anxious. Okay. I'm giving him a mouth. Okay, and then almost done with our masterpiece here. Then I'm gonna draw a box around my fear shape. Okay, here comes the box. Why? Because now I have power over him and it's not that fear is bad. Fear is trying to tell you something. If, and no, emotions, they can't be good or bad. Emotions can be comfortable or uncomfortable, but they're not, they don't really get judgment. They're not good or bad. However, sometimes it can feel like emotions are so big. You don't have any control over them and it can feel helpful to picture them as one finite thing that can go in a box, even if just for a little while, just to free ourselves for a little while. I'm putting mine in um, jail. I'm anti-jail, but um, this is just for now. This is just the tools that we have to work with. Maybe yours doesn't go in jail. Maybe yours just goes in a box. Maybe you want to put a little lock on your box or a flower growing out of your box. All different kinds of things can happen. I just want mine in this like spot where I can see him and where he is uh, safe. And now you get to decide what you want to say to your fear. Okay. I would like to say, um, <laughs> fear. I vanquish you. I've called fear by like a different name here, but that's what I want to say to him on this day. Vanquish you. I put you in this box. I am so powerful. And now here you have it. A visualization of your magnificent fear no longer in a place where it will harm you. And with that, I think we get to start to share. So if someone would like to share what they've drawn, um, you can raise your hand either using the uh, raising your hand function on, uh, on Zoom, or I think you might, I'm sorry, <laughs> actually be able to raise your hand. And then I think the believer will spotlight you. And when that happens, you get to share your fear drawing. Hi, Libby. Oh, you're muted. It happens to the best of us. Sorry. I was so excited to see your fear drawing. Hi. Hi. So uh, this is my brain and my stomach. And I say no thank you to how I feel right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's amazing. Ah, oh, the, br the brain and it's like details and it's box and your costume. I am <laughs> bored. And I love your flowy hair and your beautiful glasses. Oh my gosh. Your fear is in such a safe place. Yeah. 
She's going to be okay. Yeah, that's so wonderful. Great, thanks. Um, Thank you, Libby. And if, if you're being, if you're feeling a little bit shy, that's okay. I, um, I understand that we would love to see more fear drawings. That would be awesome. Um, how can I encourage you? I will give you, if you decide to do it, I'll give you a, a fun nickname that only you can have for the rest of your life. How about that? Hi. Um, Hi. I'm going to give you the nickname Magical Bookcase. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> Your real name is Amanda. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. This is amazing. And so mine, mine just says, um, come sit with me. I'll hold you. <gasps> oh, I love that you've invited your fear to be with you. Oh, my goodness. That's so loving of you. You guys are already friends, I bet. Yeah, yeah, we are. I love that so completely, and I love the color. It's gorgeous. What a beautiful picture. Thank you for showing. Thank you. Picture. Hi, Meg, and um, friend, Meg and friend. Nice to see you. Hi. Um, thank you for doing this. Thank you for being here. We would love, I would love to see your fear. Everyone wants to see it. Um, yeah, so this is my fear. It was sort of like a drippy, like octopus thing down my yeah. leg. It, it got some legs of its own. Yes. And I'm saying to it, I'm stronger than you and I'm going to be happy in spite of you. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I love how, first of all, I love that your fear is in a different, like in that part of your body. That's like a place where I feel a lot of feelings also. And I love how he got his own legs. I mean, how cool is that? And your nickname is going to be Ch Chickadee French Fry. <laughs> I love it. Thanks. Uh, thank you so much for showing us your fear. Absolutely. Thank you. And sorry, Meg, is this, you're still on the screen, but oh, now we have Patrick. Hi, Patrick. Hi. Hi. Okay. Uh, I drew. Um, wow. there's me and then there's a black hole in my chest and then there's a black hole shouting the event horizon <laughs> and then I'm saying sure you're spooky and mysterious black hole but I no longer fear you so. <laughs> yours is such as like it's like a superhero story like a self-contained complete narrative that I'm ready for the movie to come out already it's just so wonderful. Thank you. Um, I would like to give you the nickname, Patrick, um, Creative Henchman. I accept that. Thank you. Okay. Good. Thank you for sharing. That's wonderful. Oh, hi. Hello. What's your name? Hi, my name is Han and Han? mine, and this is mine. Um, there's a little goose here. This is mine. Oh, wow. Um, and I'm saying stay here for a bit, okay? Oh my god. First of all, the goose is awesome. Do you like geese? Yes. You do like them. And so the yes. goose is like keeping your fear company. Mm -hmm. That's really great. And second of all, um, I want to compliment your hands. And also <laughs> this guy looks a lot like you. Did you know that? I mean, that's what I was going for. It really worked out. And finally, I think the thing that you're saying to your fear is one of the most awesome things you could say to your fear. I mean, I, we should all remember. Stay here for a bit, okay? That's amazing, Han. Thank you so much. Your nickname is going to be uh, Bicycle Underpants. How do you feel about that? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Hi. What's your name? Hi, I'm Katya. Hi, Katya. It's so nice to meet you. Uh, nice to be here. I don't know if you can see it. Wow, we can see it. Uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, there we go. Okay. Yeah. It's got, it's got yellow. Up. If you just turn the brightness down on your screen, we'll be able to see it really well. If that's Which, possible. On the screen of your iPad? On the screen of your iPad. Oh, how do I do that? It's okay. Is it can't. an iPad? It's okay. We can see it. We can see it. 
There you go. Okay. Oh, because I can see first of all, that has a big yeah. giant. Oh, perfect. That's perfect. Wow. And look at how it's like bigger in your stomach and goes up into your throat. That's so yeah. true, huh? Really is. Oh, that's awesome. What a beautiful drawing. And um, what is your person saying to your fear? Um, not today. Yep, not today. I love it. Thank you so much. Um, your nickname is going to be Goose. That's all. Just um, Goose. And uh, it's because I've been thinking about geese since I saw Hans Goose, and I really wanted to make sure someone felt like they were a special goose. Thank you so much. That's beautiful. Hi, what's your name? Hey, I'm Aya. Hi, Aya. Hey, so my, my fear is like, kind of like um, up in my, can you see? Yes, yes, totally, yes. It's like it's in my chest and I was drawing like these like moldy networks. Yep. Like fungus hair. Yep. Mm-hmm. Shrink and go, what did I write? Shrink and go somewhere else fear. Oh, that's so nice. You're shrinking it. You're, that's like a, that is a true um, powerful thing to do, to shrink yeah. it. Uh, also, the color choice is spot on. Really, yeah, really so good. gross and ugh. Yeah, it's perfect. Ah, I love it so much. Um, and oh, this that's awesome. And I'm gonna give you you have a lot of flowers. So I'm gonna give you the name Peony Peony. Two okay, peonies. I'm write it down. Yeah, that's your thank you. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Manette. Okay, hi Manette. Nice to meet meet you. Oh, wow. Tell us about oh, this. This is the fear in my chest and my stomach sort yep. of fitting in. Yep. And then here's the fear in the box. Oh. And then perfect. these are my arms going around and saying, I love you. I, and you're saying, I love you. That is, that's the energy that the universe needs the most right now. That sounds kind of hippy dippy, but it's so true. I mean, that's just exactly what we need. And also, may I say, uh, your hair, out of sight, really good hair. Some of the best. <laughs> um, I'm going to give you the nickname Sweater Weather. Yep, Sweater Weather. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Ellie. Sorry, I got... Too distracted laughing. Hi, Ellie. Uh-oh, you're on mute again. You just mute, uh-oh, you muted yourself one more time. So you're back, you're back. Anyway, um, this is awkward. I've never fallen in love with somebody over Zoom so quickly. <laughs> um, uh, I'm Ellie, Hi, I'm Ellie. in Jersey. Um, uh, my fear also sits in my throat, but it doesn't have arms. It's like a clenchy, mm -hmm. angry, gnarling, thing um and I just said it went silent oh look at his teeth yeah oh he's oh he's wonderful and so fear you Thank will you. not silence me I love it I and also wait, wait wait can you put it up one more time just really quickly really great color your hair looks amazing this is incredible that's a great piece of art and I'm going to give you the nickname um what was it I had it earlier I, I think it harmonica of love <laughs> yeah thank you Thank you so much. Um, hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Irene. Hi, Irene. So, can you see this? Yes. Oh, wow. This so is that's, awesome. That's my fear usually starts sort of like in my chest and then goes down my, my gut. And yeah. Uh, and you're saying nope. Yeah. And you have cute shoes on. Wow, yes. I love it. I lo First of all, I love yellow. I love the color choice. His face. <laughs> His facial features. Doesn't it kind of look like Trump a little bit? Kind of a little, like <laughs> he really kind of does. But there he is in the box where you can just say no to him. Ah, oh, I love, I love it. Everything about it, it's beautiful and um, very fashionable also. So I'm gonna give you the nickname um, Fern and Siegel. Well, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Hi. Hello. Um my name is Erin. What's Aaron. your name? Erin. <laughs> Erin. Hi, Erin. So I, it's in my chest and also mm -hmm. uh, up in my neck. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I said, 
you can be lighter. You can let go of some of your weight. Oh, it's, uh, and you put a lock and that's so great. You have the power over it. Oh, wow. And your outfit's so cute in this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Um, great colors, great textures, just great all around. Thank you. Um, I'm going to call you, I'm going to, I'm from here forth. I'm going to call you armchair baseball hat. Uh, accepted. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I really appreciate you showing your, your fear. Um, hi. What's hi. Your name? Michelle. My name is Michelle. Hi, Michelle. I like um, your sweater. Okay. Ready to see it. Ready to see it. Thank you. Um, yeah, so in the chest, it's like an anvil, actually, but it also reaches up into your, your, uh, oh, awesome. And it's just what I have to say is it feels good to get you off my chest. Yeah, I, what I love about, yes, what I love about that is how you acknowledge that it's so heavy. Yeah, well, and he's mean, too, he's mean, but, uh, Thank you. This is, this is a wonderful exercise. I really like, you actually feel it when you put it in the box. It, it makes a difference. Thank it's, you. Well, and thank you yeah, for showing us you. that heavy with the face. I loved, I love that so much. Um, I think we have time for three more. So I'm, I meant to give warning oh. for, Oh, you didn't get a nickname. You need that's, your that's nickname. The only reason I volunteered. Of yeah. course. And that was a great prize that I offered. <laughs> um, well, and so I think it's polka dot house cat. Are you allergic to cats? Yeah, of course. So you I are, yeah. Oh, polka dot. Uh, no, uh, that's fine. I want it. I want it. House cat. <laughs> I'm taking it. Coconut house cat. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, there's two of you. What are your names? Hi, uh, my name's Eliza, and this is Avery. I don't know if she's gonna share, but um, okay. Hi, Eliza and Avery, and hi, phantom background person. <laughs> Ready uh, to see? This is my drawing. I'm scared of um, creepy old men. So yeah. I drew a creepy old man. Yeah. And a <gasps> Look yeah. at how it went. And it got, it got bigger than you. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Wow. Can you, can I see a little bit longer? I'm sorry. Can I just look a little bit more at it? Wow. Um, ex first of all, also really great color. I, the, the shading there. What are you saying to him? Um, don't touch me, sir. Yes. Good. So empowered. I love it. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, I'm going to give you the nickname, a chandelier at sea. Mm -hmm. Let's see. That's, that feels really right for you. It was nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Hi, what's your name? Oh, you're muted, unfortunately, but you can unmute. There you go. Yeah. Oh, but we still can't hear you. Oh no, but I can see your, I can see, hold it up. I can see it. You are showing up unannounced too much panic. And it, we have like a, yeah, wait, okay, wait, 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 put it back, put it back up. I gotta see it. Okay, and you, oh, it's in your head also, huh? And your chest, really chest and head. Awesome, love the squiggles. I love the texture that you added. It is terrific. Is your name Eileen? Okay, Eileen, um, your nickname is going to be uh, Lace and Turmeric. Wow. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much for adapting. Hi, what's your name? One second. Okay. Hi, my name is Millie. Hi, uh, Millie. Hi, Sophie and everybody. Um, so like everybody else, mine is kind of in my chest. Yes. Um, and like wraps around. Yes. It, it doesn't really have a face. It's kind of sharp, like a very sharp diamond. And so the cage is actually hands <gasps> trying to- Oh, wow, I just saw it. Oh, wow, wow, wow. It's like hands. Oh, yeah. cool. It's so 3D. I love it. And all the, look at your facial expression. There's so much to look at on this. <laughs> that is awesome. I love it so much. I love the hands. I love that it's wrapping around you. Uh, it's, it's truly extraordinary. Really love it. I'm going to give you the, um, the fun nickname starfish gourd. Starfish gourd. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Great. Hi, what's your name? Hey, I'm Vanessa. Hey, Vanessa. I drew, I drew a comic of, um, a, kind of a random trypophobic nightmare I had about a cluster that attacked. You're trypophobic too? Me too. 
I just discovered it was a thing. It took a, a nightmare to make me realize. Oh, <laughs> but man. I'm saying, uh, cluster, I don't know why you attacked my body in my dream, but you can't have my body, I vanquish you. <laughs> I also like can I see it again I also like appreciate that the cluster is like not too he like isn't too scary it's like it's it's like it's manageable and I love where it is on your body that's where it was in your dream yeah it was on my left arm which is oh lord I accidentally drew drew it on my right arm but oh well that's okay (laughs) Uh, it maybe it's like mirror zoom image um that is awesome thank you for sharing and i appreciate knowing that word too that person didn't get to get their nickname i'm gonna call them lime green milk bar yep that's what vanessa gets (laughs) um all right i am now back on the screen which i think means that the time is over is that correct maybe um kristen will text me and tell me if That's anyone that. else wants to share, they, they're welcome to. Otherwise, we can wrap up. Oh, okay. Uh, if anyone else wants to share, you're welcome to. I mean, I feel like these nicknames have been really amazing, and these drawings have been more amazing. Ooh, oh, it's Melissa. Hi, Melissa. <laughs> I know Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Hi. Hi. It's, nice to you. it's good to see you. This is great. Um, Wow. So my fear is in my brain, but it drips down my throat into my heart. Yep. And it's backwards wow. here, but it says, I see you. However, our time together has come to an end. Go, whoops, go on your way and leave me now. Wow. And it's out, it, the box has turned into a window. Yeah, it's, so it's Where on the outside of the window. Of yeah. Okay. Oh, that's so nice. You didn't hurt it. You just, you just let it go on the other side of the window. Wow. 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 And I love its shape. It's a mushroom sort of, but (laughs) you know, yeah, sort of, but like in a, in a spooky, scary way. I love it so much. Melissa, a nickname that I would give to you would be kind, kind clouds. (laughs) Yeah. I just know that about you. So I'm really excited about that. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who has shared. Um, so I think that everyone who wanted to share maybe had an opportunity. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but because it's the first and only time I will ever do this. Um, but if you uh, take one thing away from this workshop, let it be that um, you can and should draw every day because it is fun. And that fear is complicated and strange. It's not good or bad, but it's helpful to sometimes look at it in the face and talk to it. And paper can help you do that. Um, Thanks again to the Believer for putting this on. Thank you guys for coming and drawing spooky monsters with us. Um, Please tag, post these in your stories or your Instagram uh, accounts and tag me and The Believer magazine. That would be awesome. I will add them to my story and then we'll all be story connected. Um, And I think that's all. I hope that your Halloween is, um, is like not too interesting but does have some moments that are pleasing and feels very safe to you. And I hope that everybody wears a mask this year. That would be really awesome. And um, if you are having a trick or treat experience that it's from six feet away. Otherwise, I wish you a wonderful rest of your October. I was so grateful to spend the evening with you. I actually love every single one of you with my whole heart. And that is a scientific fact. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Sophie. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was so wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Happy Bye. Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Best one yet. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs>